Hello and welcome back to my channel. It is Sweet Sailor Sketches. Yeah. Oh. Today I am here to do the impossible. I'm gonna fish out all of the little doodles that are in these two school books. School books? I don't actually go to school. Because I already finished these classes, so. Let's stick with the program. Come on guys, let's go. Okay, ow. You're gonna forget about that one. So first things first, Algebra 2. Algebra 2. I think that I didn't really start drawing this one until a little bit later. Oh my god, look at my notes, look at the colors. Look at the, yeah, look at my messy ass handwriting, oh my god. Note taking is difficult. Shh. Here are the first drawings. Shut up, it's the digital circus. Shh. It's not in a cringy way. I had literally just seen it and I was like, oh my god, I love the character designs, I'm gonna draw. Shut up, shut up. Shut up. I can't do this right now. I can't deal with your criticism. I don't know what I'm doing particularly, but I think that I'm just gonna grab an X-Acto knife and start chopping shit. And these are rusty. I use these for sculpting a lot, and I dip them in water. Probably not the best practice to do ever, but it's fine. Mirror we we fall out of line, out of line. Shut up. Um, wow, I know. I know, it doesn't stop. There's so many digital circus things. But guys... I can't like things in moderation. If I like something, it is an obsession for around a week, maybe two if I'm lucky. And then I forget about it entirely. So maybe, just maybe, you should forget about it. Just rob your brain of any knowledge. It's actually quite easy. It's... <laughs> <laughs> it's actually- <laughs> shut up. It's actually really hard to draw while taking notes. I actually kind of hate it because brohemus. How am I supposed to be writing down like 25 different definitions and still find the dun- dun, dun, dun. <laughs> And still find the time to like draw a pixelated bunny. Or like star guy. Or like an anxiety induced clown. I just think it's really funny how it goes from all digital circus and then it just like stops and then it's all star guy. And then like a few of bug. And bug is is a cat. Okay, Bug is a cute cat and he has weird eyes, noodle arms, a limp tail, and I just made him up. I I love him. You ever just make up characters randomly and they don't mean anything to you, but they mean everything to you? Because that's what's happening with Star Guy and Bug right now. And no, St Star Guy does not have a name. I don't really care. <laughs> Star guy is star guy, and that's all that there is. <laughs> okay. And with that, this random piece of wood I bought now suddenly looks like a kindergarten art project. And I have all of these. I did not think that there was going to be this much. Like, I knew that there was a lot, but gut DM. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use all of these. But. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stop this video and give up on life. <laughs> so yeah, let's make a sketchbook spread. <laughs> you know, based on my performance thus far, I really think I should have stopped this video and then proceeded to give up on life. But, you know, we're we're still going on... Yep, words. Stop it! We're still going on strong and I couldn't tell you why. I have no reasoning. I honestly think that dividing the two different pages to be like one subject and then another subject. It was like the best decision I could have ever made because, hey, how was I gonna be able to brain mixing Star Guy and a little a little anxiety clown together? Like Star Guy is over here serving. Pomni is over here literally not being able to breathe. <laughs> I just don't know how to like mix that together and make it look okay. So while Star Guy serves, Pomni's eight worlds are colliding. So that's just that's fine. She can live with that. It's okay. She's done this for a while. I've put down all of the pieces that I want, how I want, and I think it looks pretty good. It's probably gonna look better glued down. It looks a little ratchet right now, but you're gonna forget about it. Actually, yeah. We've made a pact, and now you must follow it. You know, I almost just grabbed my chapstick. But this is the glue stick I'm gonna use. Oh my god, oh my god, it's a dollar store glue stick. Yippee. So I decided to add a little bit of color into this because, hey, 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 hey. it's been a little boring. So I grabbed some paper that I had in my little scrapbook jar, which is somewhere in my room. I just grabbed this yellow paper and then I also had this like Kleenex box that I had saved because if you're an artist and you like to like make pages like this where you glue stuff into your sketchbook, you know that you're saving the most random, random, random shit. 
any packaging that has remotely cute colors or like patterns on it, you're like, oh, I could use this. It's been sitting there for two years, dude. Are you really gonna use it? I had this Kleenex box and I figured, hey, this is literally the perfect opportunity. <laughs> this is literally the perfect opportunity to use it because stars, star guy, look at me go. Really mathing this one out. But as you can see, I did leave a little like area open in the middle where I could, you know, actually draw something in this video so it wouldn't turn into a scrapbooking channel. Shut up. I know. Shut up. I didn't really have anything like particularly in mind when I left this weird oblong shape. It kind of looks like a deformed jelly bean. A jelly bean that has a bite taken out of it, perhaps. I kind of just went on Pinterest and was like, poses, what are they? And then found this one and I was like, it kind of fits into the oblong jelly bean shape. So like, why not? There are definitely a few things wrong with it anatomy wise. I feel like I really did rush through this drawing for some, some, some reason. I can't tell you why. I can't tell you a lot of things, actually. If you were coming here expecting information and facts, that's not gonna happen. So maybe just like move along. Move along after you subscribe and turn your notification bell to off. But yeah, after I got like the pose figured out, I decided that I wanted to do brown line art just because I thought it would be a little bit softer. And like, I felt like the entire page was already filled with black sketches because you know. I use black pens when I'm doing my notes so that it doesn't smudge like a pencil would. I actually have never colored an image that had Star Guy in it. Like, I have no idea what the color of his clothing is. This is probably not what it's gonna be in the long run, but I just was like, what are colors? Pick three, there you go. So I gave him a blue sweater, green pants, and like brown shoes. Adorable, I know, he's so cute. Live, laugh, love this little bit. One cute little thing I decided to do was, you know, since he is an actual literal star, bro's basically on fire, bro is the sun. I decided to make him glow through his clothing. It's a little weird. If you think about it, it makes sense because he's just like a star. Just let him serve. Okay. I do think I made his noggin a little bit too like wide. Looks like he's a little bit squished, but it's okay. I do really like the way that this entire left side of the spread looks. I think it's super cute. I think all the colors go together. I think all of the little doodles and details I added afterwards with like swirlies and stars and shit all over the place just really pulls it together. But I just can't get over the fact that I didn't put the main drawing of him high enough on the page. There's so much more room. I could have totally done that, but guess who doesn't think ever. Yeah, this is how the star guy side of the page turned out. We're gonna move on to the next side because I know that's literally all y'all are waiting for. Why do you guys like Digital Circus so much? Literally me who had an obsession with it three months ago. Shut up. I'm literally about to throw you out the window. Watch it. Bah. <laughs> Um, yeah, practically. Yeah, that's actually what I was gonna say. I really hate the beginning part of trying to figure out how I'm gonna lay out the page. It makes me wanna, I don't know, rip out my eyeballs. Boil them like some potatoes. And maybe that is actually your fault. And maybe I'm just so stupid and tired and I just wanna go to bed. I just wanna go to bed. I actually decided to show me making the little frame color part things this time. I spent so freaking long cutting out little details into the yellow piece of paper only to cover it up later and it's just like okay so i am stupid okay so maybe this is my last and final reason but anyways the left side with star guy is just so very much yellow that it's like oh that's very yellow i decided to use like the base primary colors as like the theme for like this side of the page, not only because Pomni's colors are that, which is like, shut up, I know, I know, I know, I know. I feel like that really goes along with the theme of Digital Circus. Like obviously it's so colorful and there are so much many more colors than the base primary colors. But whenever I think of it, I think of the primary colors. After I pasted everything down, like very randomly, it doesn't really make any sense. And I put Kane a little bit too high. Like he needs to be like down and a little bit more to the right. Like, shut up, I know. I make mistakes too, dude. I make mistakes all the time. And it be me, me, Anyways, I decided to make another main drawing in this middle part and I had a little bit more of an idea on what pose I wanted to do with her. I definitely wanted to do something where she seemed like she was mid-air because I feel like that's Pommy's mental state at all times of the day. Bro's just constantly in a state of <laughs> What the fuck? You know? And <laughs> so after I got her pose all figured out, I was trying to start the line art. And guys, I have not done a traditional finished illustration in literally over four, maybe even five or six months. So I don't know what I'm doing. I really like to do colored line art when I do things like this. Pomni is literally only three colors, but those colors are put in such a confusing way when it comes to the stripes. That I accidentally used like the wrong, like 
How do I? It's not an equation. Shut up. I used the wrong order of the red and the blue on her cap. So like on the left, the stripes are all mixed up. But like, if I didn't point it out, you probably wouldn't have noticed. Y'all gotta notice these things, bro. You just have to, because if you don't, then I'm the only one thinking it. And then I'm left alone in this desolate state, and then it would be your fault. So just shut up and listen. I honestly think that coloring this was so, 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 so easy. Because again, Pomni's character design is literally only three colors. It's not like we're going in here and having to color the entire rainbow. I've drawn designs of OCs and like profile pictures that the design for that profile picture or OC is quite literally the entire rainbow. Those drawings are always so very hard to do. Things like this that have a fixed color palette where it's so minimal and it just makes you remember that, hey, hey. maybe there is a higher being that I'll- <laughs> It's just, it's so nice you don't have to think. I decided to have the lighting kind of coming from behind her, but not entirely from behind her, semi behind her, but it's like on the left, you know? You know, it always shocks me. Like, this is gonna sound so like, oh my God, I'm so good at this. <laughs> Shut up. It's literally not my intent, but it always shocks me how good it feels and how good it looks to draw with alcohol markers. It is so nice. I love alcohol markers so much. The colors just blend together so nicely. There's just something special about traditional drawing that you can't get with digital drawing. And I have been doing so much digital art lately that it has been turning into the only thing that I'm doing. And honestly, that's sad. That's unfortunate. I would like to say that I'm going to try my best to do more traditional art, but with what I have planned for my next probably year and a half. I don't know if that's gonna happen. But yeah, I just, I really like these drawings. It was so nice to finally do a finished alcohol marker drawing and I just haven't done one in so long. It was like, is that a train? Can I get five seconds to myself? Oh my God. Oh my God. What if I just riot? What if I just lay myself down flat in those train tracks? What are you gonna do about it? If you larf me, let me gar. What if I rip off my skin and sell it on the black market? That was a joke. I want to listen to that train song. Do what you want with you. Be nonchalant with screws. Uh, my trains. Uh, the magic trains. Trains. Could take me away. Woo! Chugga chugga woo! I feel like if I focus and think of getting smaller, I'll gradually get smaller. And if I get small enough, my trains will see much bigger, and I'll be the conductor, the tiniest conductor. Oh, then what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I'm fucking small, like one inch tall? You won't see me coming at all. <laughs> I, yeah, anyways, wow. I really enjoy this drawing. So much fun to do it. Stick to the outro, I probably have something to say. Don't remember, because I recorded this like a week ago. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how the video turned out. I am actually really enjoying both pages. This side a little bit more for the scrapbooky version-ness of it, and this side a little bit more because of the drawing, center drawing version of it. I obviously like both because- Look at them, they're so cute! I just really like Pomni's drawing. So maybe you can shut and accept my opinions. The next time that I finish some of my classes, I'll do another video like this just because I hate for these little tiny sketches to go to waste. I don't want them to sit in my notebooks forever until they get burned because, you know, I kind of want to burn my memory of high school a little bit. <laughs> next time I finish two classes, you're gonna see a video kind of like this again. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn your notification bell to all so that you will be notified every single time I make a new art video. Anyways. <laughs>
Hope you enjoyed, and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Don't know when this is getting uploaded, so I can't really say what's next. See you guys next time. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye 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 bye. Underneath my balls, you enchanted balls.